Spectrum Project uh, has been working with the borough of Hounslow for many years, 12 years in fact, providing services for disabled children and support to their parents. The community itself is a mixed community. Most of the children we have coming here are children of an Asian background, which um, for us is absolutely fantastic. As a national charity, we want to reflect all communities, and we certainly do that here in Hounslow. Well, the parents are looking after a child with a disability, and that child will become um, a teenager with disability and a young adult with disability. Uh, so the parents and the child's siblings are prime carers, and we must take care of them as much as provide the child with the disability with the support and care that they need. Um, a lot of parents are single parents. Um, you do find that children with behavioural difficulties can cause problems in um, families. Um, I think four, I've got six children at the moment, four of them come from single parent families, so the parents are under a lot of pressure um, to try and look after their own children and they don't get a break. Um, so we try and give them you know, sort of as much help as possible, give them a chance to actually get a bit of um, peace and quiet, and actually a night's sleep. A lot of them don't even get a night's sleep. The funding challenge is, is one that is um, critical. It's a, it's a daily uh, challenge. Local authorities clearly don't have as much money as they used to have. We rely on supporters to help us provide the much needed services. So what the Royal Mail Group is doing, and certainly what Chris's um, immense challenge this month of September is doing, is really very, very important to us so that we can make that bit of difference and provide that added value to the quality of care for these children. If the funding stream was reduced, then the families would suffer, the children would suffer. Um, they would get the support and families break up. I mean, I've been told by different families that we've actually saved their marriages and saved the, their children. I mean, there, there is very little for these kids to do. Um, and, you know, I mean, if we support Chris, raise as much money as possible, please. Amazing, absolutely amazing. As a mere mortal, I look at what he is doing with his own disabilities, and I think to myself, how does he do it? We heard some of the children here asking the question, how do you do it? And I mean, his resolve and his determination is something that I think is an inspiration for all of us, um, staff, volunteers, and indeed the, ch uh, the children, the young people and the families. Uh, I've got three children myself, so um, children, Bernardo's sort of linking for me, and you know, I want to give you know, something back as well and help you know, underprivileged children. I've been very lucky with, with obviously my children. Um, and so I've raised hopefully about £250 from the run today. So um, you know, hopefully that will make that bit more of a difference. Oh, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable. Mental strength that just never moans us for a second. Never moans. So me and Andy can't moan now because he doesn't moan, so we don't moan. We've got to stop for a few minutes waiting for some food. You just need to keep eating uh, in my state because you've used up all your energy. There's a very good point. What happens is you do actually feel that fuel gauge go down and it's getting down here and, you, and then it's like running in slow motion on a sort of endless conveyor belt and you look at the path and you think, this isn't going by fast enough. So that's, that's when you know you need to get something. You can actually feel your blood sugar drop. Raisins are probably the best thing. I just think the whole thing is quite inspiring. Bernardo's is a very inspiring charity and we all saw Chris at um, one of our business updates and he gave a, a talk to everyone and told us a bit about the run and you know he really did inspire us to want to support him and, and you know to do something to support the event. The team at the Watford Planning Centre have been so generous in the 1500 to this uh, wonderful uh, event. Uh, that uh, Chris has uh, been a guest uh, and I'm, I'm so proud to be hosting it as well. The teddy bear was named with uh, initials B. Most of my 30 names are all starting with B. Busters, Bunty, Barney. Uh, an amazing idea that we've listed up and uh, then this was uh, folded up and uh, put in a, a, a bucket for Chris to pick. And uh, we come up with uh, a Buster teddy bear. Espatel's the winner. Yes, Great. The winner. I must emphasize, it wasn't fixed, but that did go to your family. She is my wife. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> this is amazing. This is going to your family. So, oh, oh, I can't believe it. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> that was just so lucky. Thank you. Who the fuck gets